Hello guys, welcome back, it's Logical as always, and today we're going to continue on with what our plans are, and that there's time to continue on the support role. Now, what do I mean by that? There is the fact that Argos does not belong anywhere near the support role. If I ever see it again, I'm going to lose my shit. I do not want to see anything to do with Argos in the support role. No, I'm genuinely not joking either. That last, that, our last match was a fucking joke. And I've also learned that um, if you're actually a decent rank player, that yeah, you're good. But no, as it sits, I'm going to sit with that there, so I am. Our plan is, uh, who, what is our plan, right? So we've done Dagger, we've done Argos, and we've done Balakot, right? That's everybody sorted that I do not like, right? So we've got Richter, Steel, Narbash, Faze, Muriel... Then and that's it left. Okay, so we're gonna go Narbash today. So we are. That's the plan. We're gonna go Narbash because, well, why the fuck not? Plus, you don't see an awful lot of Narbash being played. So I figured, fuck it, we may as well try it out. Um, yeah, but no, just to just to refer back to that last match. What was that? What, what was that last match? Whenever I was being Argos, like Argos support, Argos support should never see the light of day, and I mean ever. I wholeheartedly refuse to believe that Argos support is a thing. I deny that fact. I deny that Argos is a support. Argos mid, fine. Argos carry, fine. Argos support, absolutely, absolutely fucking not. Do not ever come near me again saying that Argos support is good. I deny that categorically and saying that there could have just been the fucking team i was with or the build i was using but i'm using the recommended build so it is what it is you know what i mean i don't i don't get a say to what the recommended build is so i don't it's just recommended for a reason so that is what it is quite frankly so yes we're going to go narbash because you rarely ever see a fucking narbash so we're going to find out why so guys if you enjoy please like share and subscribe if you do indeed enjoy and let's see who their carry is. Sparrow! Okay. Sparrow mirror match with a Muriel. Countess mid, Chimera. Chimera and Jungle and Greystone solo. Okay. Double ranked. Okay, so we've got a ranked Chimera in their team and a ranked Severog in our team. Oh, wait there. Double ranked Sparrows too. Okay. But I also say that they have bronze borders as well. So I'm assuming they're ranked players as well. Is that something we are going to be doing later on? Going and playing ranked. Right, I want mana sustain, thanks. Um, because from my knowledge, um, Narbash is a mana hoarder. Um, so, ranked will be something we will take on at a later stage. So it will be. It will be a way to, for me to improve my skills, we will say. Because you learn a lot more in ranked than you do here you learn what items are good what items are broken so on and so forth so let's see what our actual recommended items are so true silver bracelet this is whenever you pop your ult if i'm correct on casting your ultimate gain a shield and then whenever the shield is removed you explode okay then you got crystal tear which is whenever you're healing you give them magical power and 15 percent ability haste i don't get that i really don't in ta technically speaking i understand it because you're healing because you're healing your carry, you're giving yourself you're giving yourself on healing or healing, you gain both. Yeah, so I don't actually quite like that, but the Everbloom seems a little bit better. Upon healing or shielding. I'll go Everbloom first and then Galaxy Greaves. I'll skip over because I don't I don't see the overwhelming use of that specifically. So I don't on a, like from a personal speaking point of, point of um from a personal speaking point of view I don't see the use in it so I don't right okay I get hit hard oh wait I got teleported on fuck's sake what is our Sparrow doing? Like, I just got pressured into oblivion there, straight off rip. Like, I just got pressured straight off rip. I can see why Narbash isn't really used, I'm not gonna lie. 
But our Sparrow, okay, our Sparrow is putting in work. I'm not even going to deny that. Like, our Sparrow put in some serious fucking work there. How she managed to take home two at the same time, like. But at the same time, I'm just, I'm stumped to what the fuck is actually legitimately going on. But then I can see why, like, it, if this is how this match is going to go, Narbash really ain't beefy enough yet to do anything. So you really do want to build him beefy. From the way that this is, from the way this is looking, you really do want to build beefcake. Mm. There's a thought, like, I, yeah, like, I, 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 I can understand it in the same sense that that, in, in that scenario, I can understand it. So I can. His basic attacks don't really hit hard either, so... Like, I, I'm trying to figure out, is there a way to make Narbash genuinely useful? It's kind of where my big question is right now is, is there a way to genuinely make Narbash, like, strictly usable? I'm gonna be for I'm literally just focusing on the healing. So I am. Um, I'm landing my snipes at least. Oh my god. Well, we tried. We tried. Didn't go to plan at all though. Yeah, this is not going anywhere near the plan as... I'm also taking a lot of damage from fucking minions here, like. Right, yeah, I might fuck that shit, la. Give you some healing. So, well, because at the minute, <laughs> there's not really much else I can do. Which is my problem, like, he is such a mana guzzler, it's ridiculous, he is, like, he is the epitome of mana guzzler, and Seb's getting hammered, oh, but Chimera picks up the cleanup, okay, my problem is, I do want to pick up the fucking movement skill, but I don't know how good it's going to be, unless, like, like, Uh, okay, yeah, that, that, that was to be expected. We backed at the absolutely wrong time, but we had no uh, fucking choice. So yeah, trouble is brewing now. <laughs> I just love smacking her with a fucking club. <laughs> it tickles me every time I do it. Oops, that was not what I was meant to do, but okay. The thing is, locking these fuckers down is a problem. Countess is now level 6, which means she has extreme burst to run with now. Oh, missed. Uh, I hate the passiveness of being Narbash. He just doesn't have the bulk. He doesn't have the bulk to be like an aggressive support. Like, I know, is he meant to be aggressive? Kinda. Like, is he meant to be aggressive? Kinda.
Oh my god. Yes, Narbash is not as tanky as you are led to believe. Narbash is nowhere near the tankiness that he needs to be to be a viable fucking support. I'm going to make that devastatingly clear right now. Narbash is not tanky enough. For as much as I want him to be tanky enough, he is simply not tanky enough. And Chimera, what are you doing, man? Okay, fair dibs, but Chimera, there are Chimeras now in on you. Get out. I'm focusing on my healing. So I am. I'm focusing on my healing because I don't really. I don't have a. I don't. Granted, I don't actually have an answer. So I don't. Like I'm relying on shit that just doesn't. I'm relying on. Sh uh, why am I forced to rely on our players, lah? Like? I say that there, sure. I'm playing a fucking basically a multiplayer game anyway, so of course I'm going to be re like relying on my teammates. But of course, like that's just how these things work, obviously. So it is nicely done, Chimera. Right, I'm gonna rotate back. <sighs> I'm nearly level six, so that means I can just TP into battle and just start drumming. Which is a bit, which will be a big fucking help. Like, I think once Narbash gets a few items built and set up and shit, like, then Narbash will show sort of his true colours of how good he can be. You know, but as it sits, it's like, hmm. that was actually a good player or not but my TP fucked me over well Muriel's backed off so that's at least a bonus but Countess is probably floating nearby alright well that's a I, I will I'll politely accept that, that is a that is a successful start so it is that in my opinion is a successful start Yeah, several was getting bullied. <laughs> Fucking Muriel, boy. Oh, come on! What the fuck was that game? Yeah, Crystal Tear is going to be a no. We're going to go with this one because it gives out on healing an ally. Grant them 5% mitigation and 15% tenacity plus heal or shield power. So we get a little bit of healing on that. Then we're going to go Galaxy Greaves for movement speed, obviously, and then the ability to move. And then we're going to pick up that. Right, so what was the cluster fuck that I left behind? Right, Greystone rotated, which is obviously a fucking heap of shit, la. Okay, Mare's on the Hound. Uh-oh. Oh, Faye, my... I wasn't close enough. I hate... Did y'all know something? Narbash is only good if you can, like... If... Yeah. Pretty much. Like that's the entire stick here, right? Oh, there's Countess.
Oh wow. That was an absolute that was an absolute accident. That was a, that was the epitome of an accident. So it was. Well, Count S is down anyway. No, he, he lacks the initial sort of... He lacks initial tankiness. So he does, and because he lacks initial tankiness, he can't really do much. Which is obviously going to be instantaneously a problem. Hmm. There is arguments to be hard luck, but... Greystone's trying to pull his rotation shit so he is. No. Oh wow. Fang uh, Fangtooth is currently down though, is it not? Right, time for me to backtrack now. Hang on, Kamara's okay, attacking Prime Orb. Fucking savage bastard who he is. Yeah, give you that. On, you're gonna run away now, yeah? No, you're not. You're staying right here, bitch. <laughs> you're staying right fucking here, bitch. This is what I mean. Like once you get a rhythm going with him, then he's good. But it's that it's getting that initial start is the problem. So it is, it's getting that initial start's the problem. If you can't nail that initial start, then Narbash will just be a hindrance to you the rest of the game. So he will be. So, yeah. He's a, he's a, he's a high risk, high reward from the looks of it. <sighs> Sanctification for shielding and more healing. And then we're going to go Galaxy Grave so I can get movement speed. Now, obviously, the reason for movement speed is quite simple. You want to be around the map. You want to get to where you need to go early and fast. So you do. And with it, and now that I've got a little bit more bulk built up, we're pretty much pretty Gucci, so we are. But Countess has rotated for some reason. Sorry, Countess, but that ain't going to help you. Uh, with me being here, yeah, I did. Uh, I can dish out a lot of survivability. So I can. Yeah, just you run away. Nice. Oh, hi, Muriel. I need you to back up, Sparrow. So I do. Shit. Oh, got nipped. Get out of here, Sparrow. Come on, Sparrow, clean up for me. The Chimera Mare. What are you running, Chimera? Ballsy fucking play, dude. Nice. Okay, my death was not was for not was not for nothing. Good. This is what I like to see. Proper team play, cooperation, way to do things. 
But fucking fair dibs to the Chimera going for this. Gain 50% attack speed and empower your basic attacks to deal 15% more damage on hit. Like, that's a pretty monstrous decision to make. Like, if you're going full hog wild on damage, like, that's a fucking mammoth sized fucking boost. Like, a straight up 15% more damage. Like, that's, that's a boost that not not easily dealt with. What are you locking, Greystone? Fuck off. Right. Yeah, I'm on my way, Sparrow. Countess is on her way too. And Sparrow and Muriel. What's up, bitches? Time to move, boys. Well, Countess, how you doing? How you doing? Oh, the thunk! Oh, the thunk! <laughs> oh, wow, once you get enough mana regen, you can basically sustain his healing indefinitely. The da the thunk the thunk of the year by the thunk of the year. An enemy inhibitor is under attack. Oh, I'm I'm, I'm happy with that outcome. Oh, I missed shit. <laughs> I'm happy with that outcome. That was a good that was a good outcome. I like that. That was just I was a thunk and a half. Oh shit. Oh, several going into. Right. It's nearly like the no and the nuisance here, look. <laughs> it's nearly like the no and the pain in the ass. <laughs> For no reason other than I can be. <laughs> For no other reason than I can. Right, we're gonna go Vanguard next, get that defense built up. Just I'm I'm, I'm the nuisance that I'm the nuisance that they put up with because they know I can't put out damage, but I can just be absolutely annoying. I'm on my way. I have healing. Ah, <laughs> uh, Chimera jumped into that like a fucking fool, though. I don't care what anybody says. Chimera jumped into that like a fool. Charge, my minions! What the fuck are you doing, Severog? Greystone, like, fur dibs you win, like, but you kind of fucked up. 
Like, let's just be clear here. You, 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 you fucked up. You done goofed. You, you really, really. They surrendered. They surrendered. And saying that though, that's a, that's that's an interesting one. So, long story short, Norbas doesn't have the early game beefcake that you need him to be. So you're like, the way that I'm looking at this, right? This is this is the way that I see this. Norbash doesn't really have much early game that you can use. He is a very limited support early game, so he is, and that's a pro. That is immediately a problem. But if you can survive to mid to late game, Norbash can be a royal problem for the enemy team to deal with. So he can be in all fair. Like this is how it works. So really weak early, but really really irritating late. So that's a good thing to see, but he just doesn't compare to a few of the other supports that are in the game at the minute. So it's a bit, it, it is what it is. Long story short, it is what it is. But as it sits, no, I like the way Norbash performs. You just need to sort of know his limitations. Don't get too greedy with him. Like he's not a steal or a rector, so he isn't. So you, you, you have to know not to get too greedy with him. So, and in saying that there, as it says, my team carried me. So that's all I can really say. I was just the one there to support them. So it is what it is. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe if you didn't enjoy. And remember, not everything goes to plan. Bye!